Suppose that I give you the line in standard form, 2x minus 3y equals 1. Well, how would you graph that? Well, what I would do probably is just solve for y and write it in uh, slope-intercept form. So if I solve this for y, let's see. I guess um, let me bring the, um, the minus 3y to the other side. So I see 2x equals 1 plus 3y. Then I'll subtract 1 from both sides. And I see 2x minus 1 equals 3y. And if I divide both sides by 3, I would see that 2 thirds x minus 1 third equals y. Or y equals 2 thirds x minus a third. By the way, you might say, wait a minute, how come I got those two threes there? If I divide both sides by three, then I just see one big three under the whole thing. Well, that's true, but remember how fractions get added or subtracted. I can just subtract the bottoms, the, the tops rather, and keep the bottoms the same. So in fact, that would be a two over three times x minus a one over three here. And if you combine them, the bottoms are the same, so I just combined and I get this again. But now in this form, it actually is very easy to see what this equation looks like. It's y equals 2 thirds x minus 1 third. That means that the y-intercept is minus a third, and the slope is 2 thirds. So that means rise over run is 2 thirds. So if I look at the graph of this, the y-intercept, now watch this, is going to be minus a third. Well, this is minus 1, so I'm actually only going to minus a third. So the y-intercept is actually a third of the way down. And what's the slope? The slope is 2 thirds. So that means 3 over in the x and then 2 up. So I start here and I go 3 over, 1, 2, 3, and now 2 up, 1, 2. And so there's another point that this line contains. And if I connect those points, let me use actually a really small line this time so you can really see the detail. If you connect them very carefully, you'll see that is the graph of the line. Because notice it has y-intercept uh, minus a third, and the slope is 2 thirds, which means I go two units up, 1, 2, and then 3 over, 1, 2, 3. And there's another point. So if you're really careful there, I'm drawing a very thin line and not the usual thick red one, just to indicate that this is really sort of sitting right in that, that grid in a very delicate way. But the point is, no matter what the form of the line that we're given is in terms of the equation, we can always graph it by just manipulating it into a form we know or recognizing it as a form that we know and then using the information. y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, or y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, in which case we know that the slope is m and it contains the point x1, y1, point-slope form. Okay, see if you can graph these things and enjoy.